Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel filter on your 2004 Volkswagen Golf TDI. Now this is the DEW PD engine. Now also when I install the new fuel filter I'm also going to prime the system with uh, sea foam so that it actually cleans the uh, cleans the combustion chamber and the injectors. Now before you change the filter, if you're going to prime the system with sea foam, what you want to do is actually have the engine at full operating temperature. So I've actually already driven the car around and it's already at the halfway mark on the gauge. So the sea foam will actually work effectively in the motor. Now what you want to start to do is remove that screw right there. Now these might be seized over time depending where your car is located. Uh, if you're exposed to uh, any cold or salt salt on the roads. Now this may be seized up so you might have to tap it around a little bit just to get the clamps loose there. As you can see now there are a wedge style clamp so what happens when it tightens up it actually pulls the clamp together. And on top here you're going to want to remove all these clips that hold the fuel lines on. Actually these two clips right here and this clip right here. And uh, you you may actually have some excess fuel coming out because there is still going to be some pressure built up in the system. And I'd also advise to wear rubber gloves because uh, the diesel fuel can soak into the skin and it will smell for a few days after that. Now I've already removed the fuel filter. As you can see here the fuel filter is out, the original one. Now on the bottom there is actually a little tap that you have to loosen. Now if you're going to drain the water in the system that is how you do it. Now I'm just replacing my filter so I don't have to worry about draining the water out of this. Now that is a routine maintenance on a diesel engine. It will build up water in the fuel sometimes and you do not want that going through your injection pump. So what you have to do is drain the filter off every so often from the water. Now when you buy a new filter, with the filter should come two O-rings. Now it's a little hard to see on the camera here. But there is a blue one on the top and then there is a black one on the bottom. Now you have to replace these. Now you can use a small screwdriver or something uh, to be able to pry those O-rings off. Now you do not want to damage the plastic underneath otherwise it could have a possibility of leaking. Now this is the fuel system treatment I used. It's uh, called Seafoam. It's good for gas and diesel engines. Now you can see in the filter there that I've already primed it with Seafoam. Now it's basically used almost a whole can and it's just above the filter cloth right inside there. What I want to do is place this line back on here. Now when you push it down you want to make sure it goes down all the way and reinstall the clip here. Same way as you took it off. Just like so. Now reinstall these steel clips back on here using the uh, pliers and start the engine up. And let it run for a second until it starts to smoke then turn it off and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes to soak in the engine and start your engine back up and let it run. Now after you let the car sit for some time to let the uh, seafoam soak into the motor, you can just start it back up and just let it run for a little while until it's uh, out of the system. Now I haven't experienced any smoking at the pipe yet but I might possibly experience some after the, uh, the car warms up after the second time here because it has cooled off uh, since I've installed the uh, new fuel filter. Okay, thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to post them.